everybody, we're now considering a second larger pine tree the ne right near to the other one. And um, let's see. Can I borrow that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're under the tree right now, okay? So we're gonna be looking up at this one right here, this big one right here. And I want you to notice the bark. Notice the bark, how rough and furrowed this is on this mature pine. Okay, and I'm gonna walk over to this one behind Kaya. This is the one we just looked at before. Notice the bark on this one. It's rather different. Okay, so now we're looking at this big tree here. And I'm going to just kind of do a close-up for the camera of these needles right here. Okay, let's take this one through the woody plant key then. Hey, who wants to help me be the MC? Tyler? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, just so I can see. You wanted to start on gymnast firms. Let's start yeah. on gymnast firms. <laughs> That's a great idea. We know where we're at, right? Yep. If, if you haven't had the chance to look at the needles, everyone get up close and personal with the needles while we do this. Okay. Go ahead. So 1A, leaves usually scale-like or leaves needle-like. They are needle-like. Okay. Um, so 9. So the base of the needles, particularly current growth, surrounded by a papery sheath, or not. Mm. Are the li are the needles in bundles of two? No. Oh. Like no. 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 And then not in a sheath. Oh. <laughs> I just got a bunch of the leaves. <laughs> Okay, so these ones, uh, do you, we don't we don't notice a papery sheath at the base, right? No. No. And we notice that the needles are attached singly. So therefore, we're going to. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, I also want to show you the cone. This is the one I can find, but there's better ones. Here we go. Oh, here. Oh, notice the cone that I picked up off the ground. Mm. So then what? What is this? Look how papery the cone scales are. So what That's is a this gall. Problem? This is an insect gall. Oh, this is not... Uh, this is, actually, it could be the, the lateral new growth from the tip, too. Oh. It probably blew off in the windstorm. Oh, that's cool. It could be new growth. Okay, oh, okay. so that's not yeah. a cone. Makes sense. But it's more like a gall. Okay, so we're, that, notice the papery sheaths on the cones. Now we're going to which couplet? Uh, 15. 15. Needles, four angled in cross section, sharp pointed, branches very rough from persistent leaf bases, cones pendant, papery and intact at maturity. Needles more or less flattened, tips not sharp, branches somewhat smooth where needles have fallen, cones erect to pendant. I feel like this branch is rough, but is it, maybe that's, again, because I can't really compare it to that much. It just looks rough. Are the needles four angled in cross section? Let's attack. Let's look at that one first. I should have got my spectacles out. Mm. I don't think they're flattened because they roll in their fingers. Yeah, I think they're four angled. And they are sharper. Mm. Oh, yeah, they are sharper. Okay, <laughs> cut one in half, guys, and look at the cross section. It, yeah, it looks like it's cubish. <laughs> kind of looks a little angled. A little oh, square. Yeah. But definitely not flat. Yeah, it's because you can oh, roll it like you were saying. I think that's crazy because I mean, this is obviously different than this one, too. Yeah. yeah. And the one right over there is different. Are the branches smooth where the needles have fallen? No. No. They're not. They're rough. They're rough. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I actually think that it's more angled in cross section than the last one we looked at. Um, the cones are papery and intact of a tree. So let's try 16 and let's see what we come up with. Okay. Uh, young twigs, usually pubescent. Needles 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters long. 
not painfully sharp, trees up to 40 meters tall, sometimes growing low and shrubby at timberline, bark thin, scaly, cones usually less than 6 centimeters, often growing with subalpine fir, um, 2,000 to 3,000 meters, or at timberline. Mm. Or, young twigs glabrous, needles usually more than 2 centimeters long, very sharp at the touch, bark thick, furrowed, cones usually more than 6 centimeters long, usually along moist canyon bottoms. Well, this is a canyon bottom, but, well, yeah. the bottom. Yeah. But these look pubescent, right? Because these are young ones, and they're... The cones are pretty long. Um, so, when it, I think when the needles are pretty short. Or am I just... Pubescent? It's talking about, like, the ones that are yeah, just starting to grow. Oh, the little ones. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But that's subjective. I don't <laughs> Okay, so, young twigs, usually pubescent, needles 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters Maybe long, or more than 2 centimeters. Let's get yeah. out our rulers, guys. I don't know if this is this one or that. Mm. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it kind of looks a little long. But that's what a pubescent. Okay, I get what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But didn't it say one of them? It said the bark was scale like, right? Three centimeters. Um, let's see. Um, sixteen. I have two. Bark thin, thin scaly. scaly. I mean, you can peel it off. Pretty. It is kind of. But I feel like it's scaly. thick though. It's not super thin. Well, the, oh well, like, yeah. Compared to that, compared to that one though, that one has, like, like grab some of this higher up stuff is really, really papery. Yeah, I guess. What about this thing? Yeah, what, what's this pubescent and Oh yeah. So when it's saying pubescent, it's it's talking about like a young tree. Oh. Um, and so what does it actually say? Yeah, okay, what do you guys think? Who of you have tried to, to measure these needles? <laughs> you got two? Yeah, I got two. What about you? I you guys have less than two? We got over here a three. Yeah, about two centimeters. <laughs> this, this key is challenging. Well, it's it like so our average is closer to two than three. Okay, what about the bark? Is it is it roughly furrowed? Um, I think it's more thin. I think it might be thicker, because I think the ones that are papery-like is that. Because if you can get your fingers underneath it, wouldn't it peel right off? This kind of stuff on the outside? Can you follow them? Let them I, mean, I, well, I think this is um, lichen, right? Is that what oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like this. Oh, the gray stuff. Them, right? so what uh, do we do when we're oh. Maybe that's just, yeah. Hmm. Well, cause look at okay, this here. I, I could see that. So you can peel it off also, these ones. Yeah, I could believe that. Also this tree right here with like those yeah, look type things, you can't really that. peel that off. Yeah, so I don't know, but I get what you're saying. I could, it could go either way, but I think... I'm gonna get I feel like pine trees are so hard to tell. Where's our cones? How long are the cones? Oh, yeah, we can measure. <laughs> you got one. Beard into it. There's a bunch. It's kind of gross, but. Okay, hey, guys, look at page 116. And look at the needles in between the two. What do you think? Look at the Engelmann spruce and the blue spruce. I think this is a blue spruce. Blue spruce. Because the cones are definitely longer than six centimeters. They really are. Yeah. The cones are, some of them are shorter, but most of them are longer. The challenge is, is that we've got mixed species in this grove right now. And we picked up a cone off the ground, right? So we're not quite sure where it came from. <laughs> okay. So I'm inclined to put this towards blue spruce, however. Because some of the needles are longer than two centimeters. Um, but it's, this is a challenging one and the key is not extremely good. So I'm going to look at key 2019 and see what that tells us. Okay, so the, the relevant couplet in the key 2019 is in key A, couplet 13. And here, it's actually the same thing, right? That we've got cones usually less than six centimeters long, leaves 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters long, versus cones usually more than six centimeters long, leaves 2.5 to three centimeters long. So um, let's, let's focus a little bit more on the needles. 
What do you guys think? I don't know. This is a challenging one. They look pretty small to me. For the majority of them, they look pretty small. But they're really, it's really along the, the, the cutoff. It's hard, isn't it? No. I do too. This, I mean, this, this, this is a challenging one because it's not de definitive. We could take it through the other key. Which other key? The 2019. Oh, I just oh, did that. Oh, you already did. Okay, yeah. never mind. So I'm trying to find a cone attached. Okay. They're all way high up there. So. Yeah. Need a ladder. Okay. So what's our elevation again? Oh yeah, there's a little bit. 7250. Yeah, I think that we're gonna go with blue spruce on this one. I may kick myself later, but I'm thinking this is a blue spruce because of the cones being longer. But again, the needles are kind of poor. I don't know. This is a challenging one. Anybody? What do you guys think? Do, do we have a consensus at all? I think it is. I think it's blue spruce. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll go with that. Okay, let's go with blue spruce. Picea pungens. Right? It's a uh, beautiful yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, in the Pinaceae family.